Hi friends. In this video, we will see how to find the stable state voltages and current in a fixed bias by stable multivibrator. Consider a fixed bias by stable multivibrator. Name all the resistors. The collector resistors are C. The coupling resistors as R1. Coupling resistors means it will couple the collector of one transistor to the base of other transistor and the base resistors as R2 and mark all the collector voltages, base voltage and collector current, base current of Q1 and Q2 transistors. In bistable multivibrator, it has two stable states. Either Q1 is on and Q2 is off. Other stable state is Q2 is on, Q1 is off. Any one stable state we have to consider and we have to find VC1, IC1, IB1, VB1, VB2, IB2, VC2 and IC2. These parameters are called as stable state voltages and currents. We will see how we are going to find the various stable state voltages and current. Consider the stable state condition. Q2 is on and Q1 is off. We have to find VC1, VC2, VB1, VB2, IC1, IC2, IB1, IB2. If a transistor is on, its base and collector voltage will be equal to the saturation voltages of the transistor. If the transistor is off, the base and collector currents will be equal to zero. So based on this conditions, if I consider Q2 is on, then its collector voltage is equal to a saturation voltage. If we consider silicon transistor, the saturation voltage is approximately equal to 0.2 volt. And the base voltage is approximately equal to 0 0.7 volt. And if the transistor is off, its collector current and base current will be equal to 0. So out of 8 parameters, 4 parameters we can directly write by considering the stable state condition. If Q2 is off, its collector current and base current will be equal to 0. If Q1 is on, its collector voltage and base voltage is equal to saturation voltage. So any stable state we condition we can consider and we can do the analysis. To find other stable state voltages and current that is VC1, VB1, IC2 and IB2, we have to apply various network theorems. Here mainly we will use voltage divider rule, superposition theorem and KCL. To find VC1, consider this loop VCC through RC, here VC1 is present, the other end of VC1, VB2 is present. VCC is known, VB2 is known. Using the known voltage and known resistor RC and R1, we have to find VC1. Here to end, we are having two supply voltages. So we have to go for superposition theorem. Using superposition theorem, VC1 can be written as if two supply voltages are there, one supply voltage we have to short circuit it and we have to find VC1. Then we have to short circuit other supply voltage and we have to find VC1. Here first I am considering VB2 is short circuited, then VC1 is equal to total voltage into same branch resistor divided by total resistor plus next time short circuiting VCC therefore VB2 into RC divided by R1 plus RC using this way you will able to find VC1 
next to find vb1 vb1 through r2 resistor it is connected to minus vbb through r1 it is connected to vc2 we know what is vc2 and minus vbb so again by using superposition principle vb1 is equal to vc2 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 plus minus vbb into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 so by applying simple superposition principle we can easily find what is vc1 and vb1 then we have to find what is ic2 and ib2 to find ic2 and ib2 consider the current flowing through rc is given by i3 the current flowing through the collector resistor of q2 is given by i3 and the current flowing through r1 near to q2 we are considering it as i4 from this we can say i3 is equal to i4 plus ic2 therefore ic2 is equal to i3 minus i4 what is this i3 and i4 i3 is the current flowing through rc resistor we know the voltage at both ends of rc therefore i3 is equal to vcc minus vc2 divided by rc similarly i4 is equal to the current flowing through r1 as i4 and both ends of r1 the voltages we have already found therefore i4 is equal to vc2 minus vb1 by r1 if we know i3 and i4 ic2 is equal to i3 minus i4 similarly we can find what is ib2 ib2 is the current flowing through q2 transistor so consider the current flowing through r1 is i5 the current flowing through r2 which is connected to q2 is i6 therefore by seeing the diagram i5 is equal to ib2 plus i6 therefore ib2 is equal to i5 minus i6 how we can find i5 i5 is the current flowing through r1 resistor both end voltages are vc1 and vb2 therefore i5 is equal to vc1 minus vb2 divided by r1 i6 is equal to vb2 minus minus vbb divided by r2 therefore ib2 is equal to i5 minus i6 but using this procedure we will able to find all the stable state voltages and current thank you